Okay, this is called full body rotation. And so what it is, is a combination of rotating freely on Rotex because it's gonna let you rotate as much as you can. And then when you turn, you're gonna hold your torso where it is and we're gonna gauge that by this stick. And then we're gonna turn our feet and our hips in the opposite direction while the stick stays still. So what you're doing is you're creating an isometric exercise throughout your entire body. So when you do that, there's a neurological response after isometric exercise called post isometric relaxation, where it will let you turn more. And I'll show you how to do it. So you just angle these inward like so. Cross this over your chest like that, like you would a golf club making a, a, a practice swing. And then what you're going to do with your torso is you're going to turn like so much as you can and hold it. That stick is not going to turn back in this direction at all now. I'm going to turn my feet and my hips in the opposite direction. I'm going to count to three. One, two, three. Now here's what most people miss. They try to go right into a turn from here. We have to give the nervous system a chance to reset. Now I can turn more. I'm turn my feet and hips the opposite way. One, two, three. Relax, wait a second, turn more. Feet and hips the opposite direction. Wait a second and turn more. Always finish with a turn. Don't finish with a turn inward with your feet and hips. It's just counterproductive. So I'll do it the other way. And always finish with a turn. Yeah, not bad for a 73 year old. Not bad. <laughs> I was impressed. You kept going. <laughs> so, that exercise right there, it involves isometrics, it involves all the mobility and stability that you need for your feet, ankles, knees, hips, pelvis, spine, and shoulders. Okay, Katie, now we're going to do full body rotation. Go ahead and step on, cross the bar over your chest. Good. Golf stance. Good. Go ahead and turn back with your torso. Good. Now I, I see that your, your feet and ankles and hips are turning. That's good. All right. Now you're going to turn your feet and hips in the opposite direction. One, two, three. You're going to let them go back where they were. Now turn more. Good. Turn inward. One, two, three. Relax back to your position. Now relax and then turn more. Good. One more time, feet and hips inward. One, two, three, relax, and turn. Always finish with a turn. Good. And let's do it the other way. Great. Turn back with your torso. Awesome. Good. Turn your feet and hips the opposite way. One, two, three, relax. Turn more. Feet and hips. One, two, Three, relax, turn more, good, turn, one, two, three, relax, and turn more, okay? Now, before we start discussing this, I just wanted to point out that you weren't letting the stick, when you turn your feet and hips in the opposite direction, you weren't letting the stick turn back to where it no, came yeah. from. <laughs> Good, that's what creates the isometric contraction. You did perfectly well with that. For the first time you ever did that, it was absolutely perfect. And you got a lot of turn. Yeah, I was surprised I just kind of kept going. I yeah. was impressed with myself. You, you actually could keep on going. Yeah, I felt like, yeah. I didn't feel like I was really at like my max limit. I felt like I could go a lot more. Yeah, really. now you did that, the way a golfer would, a way an experienced golfer would. Mm -hmm. If we were just teaching just um, a normal rotational athlete, what we would do is we would keep from going into like a follow through or into a back turn or a back swing or a follow through. We would just keep the body completely centered and turn that way. Mm -hmm. that, that makes sense? Yes. Okay.